www.thedebunkingaddiction.com. Hi, I'm Carl Shallowhorn with the Debunking Addiction blog on HealthyPlace.com. The other day, I happened to be in a convenience store, and the woman in front of me was buying a bunch of lottery tickets. She was cashing in some that she had won, some of her daily numbers, and she happened to also be uh, buying some new scratch-offs. She spent about $20 on scratch-offs from what I could tell. Me, I was behind her, and I happened to be buying one of my favorite caffeinated cola beverages, of which will not be named, because I will not endorse that product. Anyway, you know, as I stood there, I realized, you know, we are an addicted society. In fact, in many ways, we all face our addictions in one form or another. It could go from one end being a mild affectation to full-blown dope fiend. So the question is, where are you on the scale of addiction-based spectrum disorders? Now, don't be too hard on yourself because we're all affected, like I said. The problem lies is when our addiction begins to affect other people in our lives in an adverse manner. For instance, that woman who happened to be buying those scratch-offs, you never know. She could have been using that money to buy food for her children. Now, I don't know that for sure, but that, that could be the case. Now, when you look at addiction, it is both a societal problem as well as an individual one. In fact, how would you address this problem? Societal? Individual? You know, if I had to answer that question, I'd probably be on Oprah's master class. Because that's the million dollar question. Now, I do believe it can be tackled on both fronts, both individually and in a society way. But the reality is we need to make a commitment to tackling the problem of addiction as it stands. See, it isn't all about throwing money at the problem. There has to be a sincere commitment to helping individuals who are in need. And that's done on any number of different levels in our society. But unfortunately, not enough has been done. You know, we need more research, which is being done, but not enough. We need more help for the individual addict who's struggling from day to day just to stay alive. Until we face these problems, we will never get to the core reason why people use drugs. And that has been a question that's been around for eons. So don't be hating that person in front of you who's scratching away. Don't judge that person who is the alcoholic standing before the judge getting his third DWI. We're all affected by this problem, whether it be an individual one or that by society. For the Debunking Addiction blog on HealthyPlace.com, I'm Carl Shallowhorn. Thanks, and have a great day.